What is up YouTube, Nerd Gamer Productions here once again with another video and today I'm bringing you guys episode 1 of this new show for you guys. Uh, the name of the show is Nerd Talks. Now basically what this is, is you're going to see some gameplay in the background as I basically just talk about a, um, something related to the gaming industry or it doesn't have to be games, it could be comic books, superhero movies, anything like that. Um, and it's basically just hear my opinion, that's really it. Um, you know, lots of channels do this, but I I want to try it out. And first off, I think this is going to be my first commentary I've ever uploaded to YouTube. Like in terms of this, uh, you know, um, this kind of style where it's you see HD gameplay on the screen and then you hear me. I've done the whole uh, record, put a camera in front of my TV and record as I talk. I've done that before in the past. You know, that's what kind of Nerd Gamer Productions grew out of. And now I'm here guys, so this is very entertaining, uh, very uh, fun for me to kind of expand like this. But anyways, let's get let's get back to Nerd Talks, the new show I have for you guys here. And I know I'm, I'm just doing new show after new show, you know, Superhero Show was a failure. And Weekly Wrap Up is, you know, something that I really like. And, you know, we kind of just stopped it just because it got a little boring. Because uh, it was the same thing over and over. But, you know, we might bring that back. And, yeah, I'm here with Nerd Talks for you guys. So, enough with the intro, let's get started. Uh, episode 1, we're talking about why I'm very excited, but also worried for the new Guitar Hero Live. Now, just some background um, for you guys uh, to know about me and my love for Guitar Hero. Um, I love the Guitar Hero franchise very much, much more than Rock Band. I've already posted a video about this with my whole Rock Band 4 reveal uh, video. You guys could check that out. I, I explain how, um, you know, I jumped into Guitar Hero you could say wagon even though it's not a bandwagon because uh, I, I jumped in during Guitar Hero 2 which is my favorite video game of all time uh, still is I still played on a weekly basis you know after 10 years but yeah um, I jumped in when it when Guitar Hero wasn't really super in the mainstream it still kinda was but not really you know uh, I would say Guitar Hero 3 and World Tour is where it kind of exploded and everybody started playing it so yeah Guitar Hero 2 is where I started and I you know I love Guitar Hero 2 and you know I love you know lots of Guitar Hero games Guitar Hero Metallica is another great one uh, Guitar Hero 3 I thought it was good but that's when it, that's when I feel Guitar Hero started losing its its identity its touch you know it started um, which is it's a good thing and a bad thing that it started going you know putting lots of different music genres into the game uh, it really started on just hard rock punk metal and that's the kind of stuff you know that made me what I am today Guitar Hero 2 I listen to all those kinds of music all I listen to all those kinds of music now because of Guitar Hero 2 so you know I'm very thankful Guitar Hero 2 like I said one of my favorite video games no the my favorite video game of all time but this video is not about Guitar Hero 2 just some background to why Guitar Hero is super special to me and aside from the whole nostalgic factor of why I'm excited for the new Guitar Hero Live, besides that, um, the new controller, guys, they're changing it up now. Um, now, it's not just five buttons in one row anymore. It's not the, you know, green, red, yellow, blue, orange scheme. Now it's totally different. Now it's two rows with three buttons on the top, three buttons on the bottom. So it's, you know, I believe the first three buttons on the top row are the white buttons. Or well, they might be the black, and then the bottom row is the white buttons, of course. Um, if you guys haven't, you know, you guys have to see a picture of the guitar. I'm sure most of you guys already know how it looks like, but... Yeah, back to my point. They're changing it up, guys. It is, it's different now. Um, I'm, I can't wait. I haven't learned how to play Guitar Hero in a long time. I've known how to play, gu I've known how to play Guitar Hero for years now. You know, every game that comes out... Um, you know, like Metallica and Guitar Hero 3. I already learned the system. It was just learn new songs. Now, I'm going to have to learn a new system, and I'm very excited for that, guys. That is super cool. It's going to add lo a lot more challenge to the advanced players like me, and also help out the beginner players that had a hard time using their pinky or sliding down the neck with the old guitar. So, you know, it's, it's a win-win for everybody, but like I said, I haven't tried it out, so nobody knows for sure, but how it looks really cool, guys. So I'm super excited for that. Um, so now to why I'm worried about the new Guitar Hero. Um, I'm worried because there's this addition... Okay, there's something really cool with the new Guitar Hero game, and it's called Guitar Hero TV. And what this is, is it, it's sort of what I've always dreamed that they... What I've always wished that they would do with a Guitar Hero game, which is as you're playing the Guitar Hero, you know, you're playing with the guitar, you see the music video... You see the... <coughs> sorry guys, I'm kind of stuttering. Haven't done this... Haven't, you know, spoken to you guys like this in a while. <laughs> 
Uh, anyways, um, yeah, I've always w dreamed that they would do like a music video in the background of the song you're playing while you're playing the song. And now Guitar Hero TV is that. And you know, it is, it's going to be shipped with the disc on Guitar Hero Live. And that's super awesome, guys. So that, that's the cool thing about it, this new thing that I've always dreamed of, you know, playing a song and seeing the music video in the background. Super cool. But what I'm worried about now is that they're going to add some sort of uh, micro transaction sort of thing, which everybody says microtransactions are always bad. That's not true. Sometimes microtransactions are really cool. For instance, like in Call of Duty with DLC skins, that's a cool microtransaction uh, gimmick. It is still a gimmick because, you know, you don't really need it, but it's still a, a cool microtransaction, you know, system. Um, where, where in, when it doesn't get cool is when they start charging you for stuff that um, they could for sure just put in the game right away. Um, and like the camos, I'm even though, you know, there's conspiracies, oh, they probably made those camos, you know, while they're making the game. I mean, we don't really know for sure, but with Guitar Hero TV, the microtransaction stuff they're putting into uh, the game, for sure they can totally just, you know, we buy the game. Let me explain how this works, guys. So on, on Guitar Hero TV, which is the, you know, music video gaming thing that I'm talking about that I've always dreamed of. So you can, there's different channels on it. Um, so like there's like a rock channel, a uh, hip hop channel, and it, it's hard to explain, but I'll try my best. So yeah, so you click on a channel of you know the music genre you want to play, and then when you click on it, it'll just randomly put music videos for you um, to play, you know, random songs within that genre that you clicked on. And then you'll play the song with the music video in the background, and that's super cool. You know, they're always going to be changing it up, adding music, adding music videos that you can play in. You know, it's just, it's kind of, it's pretty much like Spotify, guys. Like, you don't know what you're going to get, but you know it's the genre. And you're not going to be able to play the music video, the song that you want, over and over again. They're going to change it up. And, oh my god, the music, the... Vi Oh, sorry guys, um, I'm doing this whole system now with the uh, commentary and I thought that the video would just end and so would the, the audio, but you know, the gameplay ended, but I'm still going to be talking for a little bit. So, where was I again? Uh, I lost my train of thought. Um, oh yeah, so now, you if you want to play a certain music video song, um, you know, over and over again without the sort of random randomizing that they do you're gonna have to pay money so you have to pay for the music video that you want to keep and you can play over and over again which sucks they should just let you they should just have um, you know a list of the music videos that they have for you um, on the you know to play and you should just be able to choose whatever you want and not pay any money but it's not like that it's like Spotify um, the free version it's just gonna be random and you know you're gonna play the song that comes up on the channel and if you want to you know if you want to sort of play whenever play the, um, a certain song whenever you want you're gonna have to sort of upgrade to like Spotify premium and it's just an analogy you know Spotify premium um, you pay some bucks and then you can pick whatever song you want this is the same thing if you want a certain song a certain music video to play without the whole you know hopefully it comes up in the in the randomizing you have to pay money so that sucks guys I hope the mu I hope the songs are not that expensive um, but we'll see guys so yeah sorry ab sorry about um the kind of you know 10 second gap during this video when the gameplay ended I kind of freaked out but anyways guys yeah I'm super excited but super worried about Guitar Hero Live but we'll see you guys can't wait to get my hands on it and that's it guys thank you for um, listening to me and watching the gameplay of course of episode 1 of Nerd Talks and I'll see you later